My name is uh, Frank Tietje. I am the Secretary to the Governing Council of the Petroleum and Chemical Engineering Education Society. It's an international society that's involved in fundraising for the study, teach, training, teaching and research in petroleum and chemical engineering. It's based in Canada with operations in Saudi Arabia and with a special focus at the moment on Nigeria. Uh, your, your, Mr. Chairman, respectfully, without wasting much time, our position is strictly on one issue, which is uh, the amendment of, with regards to the Federal University of Petroleum Resources uh, Establishment Act 2017, Section 1, Subsection 4. And our position is in support of transferring the supervision of the university to the Ministry of Petroleum Resources. Mr. Chairman, sir, quickly, uh, from our experience in fundraising, and supply of uh, educational resources to uh, petroleum and chemical engineering departments, we have realized that the, the, the financial and technical needs assessment for these specialized universities, especially in petroleum and chemical engineering, will be better managed when it is coordinated by the Federal Ministry of Education. We have seen that because recently uh, the, the Federal Ministry, sorry, thank you, thank you, sir. Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources Thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh, Honourable Member. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. So, uh, finally, finally, Mr. Chairman, sir. Recently, we I just received a consignment of books from Saudi Arabia, from Saudi Aramco, for the University of Benin, which will be presented to the Vice Chancellor. We also have a request of over 250 books from the Federal University of Petroleum Resources, also passed on to the engineers who work in, who are members of Society of Petroleum Engineers, who are members of the National Association of Petroleum Explorers, who are also members of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Mr. Chairman, sir, the coordination of resources and the needs for the industry are better understood and can be better actualized when the Federal Ministry of Petroleum Resources is in control of the university. Mr. Chairman, I cannot thank you enough for this opportunity. That's the position of the Petroleum and Chemical Engineering Education Society worldwide.